We use Grammarly inside our classrooms to help improve our student writing to be more clear, concise, and powerful. I don't even have to say anything. It just like calls me out. Like, listen, there's a way better way to write this. Grammarly especially helps me with making sure that my thoughts are succinct and clear. Details are important. Small things are important. One single character can change sentence or whole meaning. I don't even need to wait till the end. Grammarly's just there checking through the whole thing. Like, you're doing great. Keep it going, but you can fix this little mistake right here. Without Grammarly, I don't think I could have finished my first book.
Hello, hello. I assume my voice is clear. It should be. I tested it like very last minute. But hello, everybody. Hello, Fang. Hello, Meep. You missed Delta Room because of spoilers and Mario Party 4 because no deaths? That's fair. You missed all of Monkey Ball. How dare you? You missed Delta Room because. Cool, that sounds pretty clear to me. And hello, Meep. You can't talk for longer than saying hi. That's cool, too. Uh, if you couldn't tell, you, you should know. <laughs> We're playing Metroid Prime today. I have just finished a video and uploaded it actually, so you can see that either when you go or now if you really want to. Um, all about the Game Awards, and I was talking about Metro Prime 4 for a minute, and I was like, I need to play a game before Smash comes out next week. I also need to fix my Elgato before that time, but otherwise, I was like, what can I play that I can emulate as a series to sort of get into a little bit and play? And Metro Prime kind of fits all those bills. Now. Because that video has just gone out, I'll keep the music playing in the background. I wanted to check something. I um, also want to open that. Uh, 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 uh. Just going to do some classic marketing things. I think there was also a, a link I, I wanted to post in the comments and all that fun stuff. Um, why can't I do maths? Okay. There, there we go. Okay, okay. Lost my, lost my train of, th not really my train of thought, but just my head was a bit not going forwards. Okay. <laughs> oh dear, my video automatically does a Fortnite gif apparently when I go over it. I showed a little clip of the one of the trailers, and off it goes, going crazy, of course. Um. Oh, that's it there. I don't need to link it then. Um. we go, that is that, and I think that covers us. That's pretty much, I'll leave that to do its own thing over there. You're still good there. <laughs> Guess I'm primed and ready, I certainly am. <laughs> and welcome, Sorcerer Matteo. Matteo? Matteo. Matteo. Accents. Right. Um. Things are half set up. First things first, let's switch to the other screen. I am, yes, cool. I'm motion, all motional? I'm motional, sure. I'm a little off center, don't worry, that'll fix in a moment. Um, Twitch, you can go away. Uh, we need the editing tab so we can make the game turn on. That would be a good, good thing to do. Uh, I am not on the right file at all. Give me a moment, setup is fun. Well, bam. I get rid of that. That was a bit abrupt, but we're going with it. You go there, go to there, go to window. That's webcam. There it is. Oh, and it does it automatically. Now, once again, because this is a GameCube game, it just doesn't fit in the frame that I've got built, and I can't stretch the frame for some reason. It will. It has to be that shape. So this is the best I could do. Um, yes, at least it's covered in the frames. I was doing a lot of finicking to make that work. Um, that's what I'm missing. I might do. I feel like I do this every stream. I just like completely forget what I'm supposed to be doing. Now I have no experience with the Metroid series as a whole. Forget Prime. None of it. Um, I've seen people play the second game. I know a couple. I think I know the ending to the first because it's like the classic. But otherwise, and don't worry, it's supposed to be that buzzy and liney. I worked out, thought it was all broken, it was fine. I know, the only thing I know about this is, it's on the GameCube, 
and I remember reading in like a magazine somewhere that it was like, it's weird that it's a shooter, but it only uses one stick. And I was like, I'm not a fan of shooter games, and it seems like weird controls, so I never touched it. But, I'm hearing only good things. I know you can do a lot of analysis, at least in the later games, in the third one or something. So I'm excited to try it. I like Metroid, I like the atmosphere. Let's get into it, shall we? Into the drama that is Metroid Prime. If you see anything that's wrong, let me know. I'm Broken Dylan, hello. Thank you for joining us. I'm gonna adjust my webcam a tad. And then we'll get playing. I have only opened one file just to see if the buzziness goes away. It does. So, uh... I think we're fine. I did find it weird that these songs were just completely taken into Smash Bros. Like, they're not adjusted. Or they were, and I downloaded the soundtrack without realising. Unidentified distressed beacon has been tracked to a derelict space vessel in orbit above Talon 4. Skyboxes. Unanimated and slightly stretched, weirdly shaped skyboxes. He tried to play the original Metroid. I raged and quit, raged and died quickly. Yeah, sounds about right. I did at one point want to do, I wanted to do like a retro series, and I wanted to play the first Metroid game. But it just never came to me. What was that going to be? A 80s October? 80s October? That was way back, like three years ago. It just, it just never happened. Sounds a bit blippy in places, but I'm hoping that'll calm. Oh, that's getting worse. Oh, that's that's chunky. Hello, Broken Dylan. Thank you for the 245 bits. Oh, I have not gotten this far into tweaking it. Okay, hold on. Yeah, that sounds lovely. That's the difference. I, uh... No anti- I, I... Nothing- none of these- nothing's changing it. It might just be this cutscene. What- what is even the point? It's- oh, there's a big planet and a spaceship. Yeah, okay. It just didn't like that cutscene. <laughs> and we'll go with it and hope it doesn't happen too much. If we're okay on boss fights, then we're set. Hello. I guess I just can't handle all of it at once. Oh, you can actually see her face through that. And we begin. <laughs> Stuck into a back of her head. Uh, right, so I can't, yes, right stick does nothing because I guess it doesn't exist. Um, so what, you can't look up, that's all, okay. That that solves that mystery, it's kind of tank controls. Uh, press and hold L to lock onto targets. Okay. And, okay, I thought there would be like shooting it, but no, who needs to? Unless uh, there's more to it. So I just have to, I, okay, don't tell me how to shoot. I'll just do it myself eventually, yeah? <laughs> this is going to be auto-aiming the game, huh? The next set of force field controls are offline. Scan the central pillar to activate them. Press left to switch to scan visor. Scannable objects appear as orange targets. Oops. Oh, okay, you hold L. That makes sense. This switch does not seem to be operational. Well, that's great. This is all that. This is what I know is like the thing you can scan a billion things, possibly. Also, hello, Inkling. Thank you for joining us. This also blocks the entrance. Great. It's going to be real obvious stuff we're learning, huh? Force field activation switches are now offline. So, really, this is just the put on your perception. Press up and A to return to combat visor. Okay, understandable enough. So what, did we magically turn it on? 
Like, what turned it on? Because we perceived it all? Why? Do I have to use that while pressing R to shoot high targets? Ah! So you have to go into like an up and down mode. Interesting. I see. Ah, oh, but then you can't move, obviously. Okay. That does make sense. What's the jump button? Press B to jump, or tap B. Um, that's not B. Maybe I maybe I read it wrong, or that's not how you're supposed to jump. Do I not have my B button attached? My B? Oh, I don't know. It's fine. Press A to open doors. I know that one. Nope. There we go. We don't have to press A on these things. Deck Alpha, emergency evacuation area, current status, environment unstable. Entrance to airlock. That's gonna get annoying quick. I wanna find interesting things to scan, thank you. Airlock re uh, repressurization successful. Yeah, the scanner is just stating the obvious. That makes sense. Ooh. I don't know what happened there, but okay. I have 6666 six, six, six views, do I? What, in total all on Twitch? That's pretty rad. Slightly satanic, but I'm sure it's fine. Um, also though, is there a left and right I can go to? No. Oh, I see. We... Okay, gotcha. That's cool that it's a 3D map. That's what I was looking at, by the way. Oh, hello game. Getting chunky on those loading screens, I see. Alright, enemies it is. You're a murderer now. Hold, press and hold L to lock onto enemies. I've already done it. Was it that guy they wanted me to attack? The music makes you think there's someone else here, but I guess not. So what? What is there to perceive out of all this? Aliens being attacked by other aliens. Oh, lovely. We're slightly overpowered for these little guys, but okay. What are, what are you aiming me for? Okay. Never mind. That was a good guy, wasn't it? Oh no, that's a bad guy. He's, he's aiming at me. Okay. Can't loot their bodies like in a dead space. You've never played or seen this, so this is introducing it to you. Fair enough. It's new to me too. Uh, I assume I look alright on the camera. Cool, because I'm like... Can't, it's in my peripherals. Press and hold A to release a fire. Char a charge shot. I know her neutral B. Although I'm not much of a Metroid player, but... Okay. I could totally get into this, like, atmosphere. So it's weird to see how like un uh, how polygonal the characters are. Can I chase you in there? I figure I can. Step into the hologram to download the map. Oh, step, not roll. Awfully convenient that all these systems just work with zero, uh, with uh, Samus's suit. But I'll take it. Uh, press Z to access the map. When you've finished, you press Z to resume play. Okay. I like this. And there, so what, there was a... There was a secret compartment I could have gone into earlier, but that would have put me through a whole looping something or other, or do I have to find that later? Like, is that an unaccessible unac thing right now? I haven't a clue, but I'm glad that I know I've got it now. I can imagine there being a lot to find in this, like, world. I can imagine a lot of hidden details. 
Aliens being attacked by a human cyborg that dies if super high tech armor is hit too much. Metroid in a nutshell. Yeah. The scanner is the new Navi? I don't know about that. <laughs> Doesn't interrupt, thankfully. Access to deck beta approved. Please step into the hologram. Oh, because I looked at you. Oh, oops. Still in play. So what, what, is that telling me how much danger I'm in? I guess so, like am I in pain here? Use the morph ball to get through small areas. Okay. So yeah, yeah, the electricity, obviously. Um, is this a thing I can scan? It is, oops, not with that button, it's not. Specimen containment breach on bit deck bed, all crew report for lockdown. Okay. Oops. Oh, I didn't get hurt by it, but cool. But the game is continuing to chug along. Youch. So like, I don't actually know the Metroid enemies, I don't know any of their names. Like, I keep wanting to say that's Kraid, just because he's big, but it's probably not. Doesn't he have eight eyes? I mean, I could be Kraid. I don't really know him from like, the background of Brawl. Use left while holding out to strafe around enemies. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, he's already gone. Do you want to talk to me or are you going to shoot me? You're going to shoot me. Okay. That deals with that nicely. No idea what that did. Probably healed me, but okay. So, after mutation, the carapace of the lava becomes rigid. The carapace is quite resilient, able to resist the attacks of many predators. Interested deck. Security hall. I can understand why Samus is so serious. So what, they were doing experiments and it went wrong I guess then? Sounds standard. Press Y to fire missiles. Can I read this first? Thank you, because they're not doing anything yet. Ballistic support's needed in specimen block F. Things are going wrong. This is a side B, good to note. Oh, I hit it by just spamming, good to know. And just a biohazard containment, and you're not a thing? Okay. A new research entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Missile ammunition resupplies missile relauncher with five rounds of ammo. Is this not a not a thing I can read? It's not. Oh wait, do I have to not be in morph? Oh, that's how you jump. Not be in a morph ball. That was just bad timing on my part. You think these guys are space pirates? I remember that Ridley is a space pirate, so we may have to fight a couple. A purple dragon thing soon. Oh, what, Ridley? Everyone knows Ridley. He's in Smash now. You can't not know him. He's been in Smash for ages, actually. Though I did see um, a video that was Palutena's guide against Dark Samus? Someone. And they listed all the different types of Ridleys. I didn't know there were so many. And I, I will not be able to follow it. Perimeter defense turret disabled. Morphology. This is probably like the stuff you need to collect, like a, a Piclopedia kind of thing. Parasite Lava. Harmless unless encountered in large numbers. Alright, so they're fully collecting. Plasmite. Native of Talon 4. Okay, so these guys are not. Specimen cell structure failing. Batch blah 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 blah. Does not match DNA. Terminating in fusion sequence. See that. Specimen solitary holding one, phase on level unknown, status xenotropic life form unstable. Use caution. Is this like the classic thing that like Samus doesn't like? The like phase on 
stuff. Chemical X, I don't know. Infusion analysis 12.5. Phase on batch increases the acid production in the saliva ducts of parasite larva. Infusion analysis. Specimen exhibit incredible strength and body mass increase when exposed to phase on batch 0732.C. I could totally see this being a thing in the future. That's the scary thing, but oh well. Experiment 435.8. Bioform pain tolerance levels at 13% and holding. Nothing like torture. Elevation operational, please step in the hologram. Biohazard waste removal begins in three hours. Phase on radiation readings must be reported to deck commander before batch disposal. You still animated? Doing your thing over here? Yes, you are, but okay. We'll leave you be, because why wouldn't we? Oh god, there's so much more to see. Can I scan you first? I think I can. Species Space Pirate. Status Severe Internal Damage Detected. Specimen Solitary Holding 2. Phase on level Toxic. Paramedic Seal Holding. Planted Parasite Lava. Zuma. I guess these are all future enemies, I guess? Kind of makes sense. War Wasp. Another one. Phase on level normal. Okay. Toxic. Okay. Oh, right. I wasn't sure if you were like only attacked me because I attacked you before, but no, no, you are just bad guy. So there you go. Death for you. Oh, that's cool. Was that me that did that? Like made them grip their stomach? If so, that's some cool attention to detail. Oh wow, you're still alive. Good job, you. Bye. I'm quite enjoying this. I'm taking it quite casually, but I'm enjoying it still. New research entry. Small energy. Okay, cool. And energy is health. I know that. Because we have like a hundred of it. Sh I thought that said Shrek bait then. Shriek bat. Oh, bait. Not even bait. Excuse me. Entrance to deck. Well, great. <laughs> Kind of chunky controls for combat, but whatever, we'll take it. Anything else for us? Ice Shriek Bat. Look at all this foreshadowing they're giving us. Empty. Ooh. Phazon is what Dark Samus was created from, or something along those lines. Okay. If you could make Pikmin 4, what would you add? Everything. I'd one day, if Pikmin Forever does get announced, I'll uh, I'll do a giant video of every like idea I've ever construed over four after like the last six years and put them all into one big video. And I'll have to stream me watching all of it to do the research. Obstruction detected in reaction reactor ventilation system. Engineering crew report to freight lift corridor immediately. Security codes on auto defense turrets are changed every other lunar cycle. Using improper codes may result in turret activation. Enjoy the spaciness of this, the floatiness. What is that? Oh, I said earlier what that sounds like. Did I or did I not? Um, oh, access approved for looking at it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I can't remember what it is. Like a Pixar film or something? I can't remember. This is a classic, like, 3D game to help with loading screens of all these layouts. Hello. Now, where's my ammunition? Does this have for all, uh, unlimited? Okay. Door lock enabled. Please insert metallic sphere to open door. Oh, what, this one? Oh no, that's multiple. Space pirate, death caused by removal of internal organs.
Only balls may pass here. No. So what, can I not progress unless I'm in ball form? I guess so. Hey Debs, thank you for joining us. Do you know anything about Metroid Prime? Because I know nothing. Where's the other one? Come on. Lovely. Charge beams to... Can be used to draw in pickups. Press and hold A to draw in pickups. As in like I have gravitationalness now? Not noticing much. But okay. Maybe I took it in and didn't realize. Door lock enabled. Severe lacerations. Oh, and more. Subject looks like it's been partially eaten. Yeah, it's the little guys. We saw it earlier, I guess. Entrance to save station. Convenient. Cranial trauma. And... Oh, no. The creature looks like it had to struggle to get through this door. Interesting. Oh, cool. Alright, I was going to say, is there actually like a, a logical reason why Samus would stand in that? Yeah, it heals her. Makes sense. Hello, Shibe. The only Metroid-related thing you've ever touched is the Nintendo Land minigame. I am exactly the same. I completely forgot about that, but you're correct. The only part for me is like, Subspace Emissary. Like, doesn't count. Oh, sorry. Walked into it backwards. Wanted to research the guys. This is where we saw Mr. Guy. This is a sub. This is a brawl level. Yeah. Mr. Upside Down. Now. It's even got the same music. Don't know his name. Did he give a name? Also, isn't he in a tube? So how can he attack us? Parasite Queen. Lovely. Use that and tap D to dash while locked on. Ah, I see. Cool. Like Link's side. Is this hit? No, it didn't hit. Yeah. But we're only in a circle. Okay. A new creature. That's a horrible sound. Entry has been downloaded. Parasite Queen. Parasite. Alright, you know what? Hold on. We get back to you. No, I guess we can't get back to you. Great. That was a horribly timed uh, analysis. Can I like look at you still? Like, will, will you let me? No, you're just gonna. All right. Like, come on. There you go. That's all I wanted to do. And then put on this, and then scan you, dude. Is that okay? I also cannot. Oh, I guess no. No, I can't do any jumps without my combat or or armor. I guess I have to time it through that somehow. I, uh, yeah. You just kind of got to... There's definitely a way to get through that then. Can I break it? Oh, I can go there. Oh, that works. Yeah, okay. Never got to read your information. You still won't let me. It's not worth the wait, but oh well. So where's the part where you flip the room upside down? Or was that only was that a brawl specific thing, you know? 
The room doesn't look like it can be turned upside down. Are you like, is that the second boss phase? Am I predicting too much of this game? Your face is going through your own fit, sphere. Force field, even. I wonder if there are speedrunners that are, can, like, perfectly shoot through the spinning field. Possibly. You know what? That's probably the correct way to do it. Yeah, follow around them. Explosion so big it killed everything. Okay, reactor core critical, evacuate immediately. Nothing to scan. Alright. Yes, okay. So this is the hard part, is finding a way to scan everything. <laughs> I don't plan 100%, but you know, it's nice to... I, I, like, I like my background stuff. Entrance to connections elevator. I'm sure I've got time. It's only a tutorial level. Please step in the hologram. Will do. Thank you. This is like its own little mini Metroid level. That makes sense. I'll be very excited to see how this works out like in HD on the Switch and all that. Oh, there we go. The one wall I didn't look at. Defense turret disabled. Entrance to biotech research. We're going further in then? Hello. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Space Pirates, minimal injuries assessed. Maximum firepower recommended. Alright, that. That works too. He's been released. Containment still breached. Larval, vital, science critical. Secure area and terminate specimen. Thank you for giving me a task. Oh, no. He, he's done anyway. Alrighty. They destroyed themselves. I would not be able to deal with this as a kid. I hated timed moments. This would stress me way too much and I probably wouldn't finish the game because of it. Probably also scare me a little bit. Hello? Who's that after me? Okay, it's the same as usual. Sorry, I'm playing it like a noob. I'm just not charging or anything. we've already been to? I guess it is. Where are we to go? Right? Because we... I am slightly lost. I guess I'm supposed to be securing the perimeter and all that. Someone else new around here? Because I couldn't see the way out. This is the way I came in. Unless I go to this now. Your area and terminate specimen. Alright, I'll go up top and shoot him more, but I assume he's already dead. Oh, hello. Rejection of phase on compound detected. That was probably not what I still not what I needed to see. Oh. There's a big hole ready for when you have to be a bull and there's pipe things that will slam you. Oh, is it this bit? <laughs> oh, lord, hello. No, thank you. Not a fan. Ugh. Is there another button that makes you jump? What is this? Okay, it is that. Ugh. Yeesh. That is not pleasant. I would be probably crying as a kid. I was quite the crybaby. But this is a great way to expand Metroid in 3D. Even though they did it like 20 years ago now. 20 years? It's been a while. I'm making my way. I didn't, I didn't scan them. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a moment. Just want to scan you. Just want to scan you. Is that alright with you guys? 
What are you? <laughs> you don't want to tell me. There you go. A new creatures. Parasite. Interstellar vermin. Travel in swarms. Indigenous to Talon 4. A single parasite is harmless to larger forms. However, they tend to travel in large groups. Swarming over potential prey. Such swarms can be dangerous. My screen flashed, but I assume everything's okay. I've skipped some frames. Ouch. Is everything okay? I'm really jagged. If there's something wrong, let me know, but I don't know why, my, why it's breaking now. No, it looks fine now. Yeah, it looks pretty solid. Oops. Let's move, please. I would like to move. Thank you. Oh, great. Of course you're going to be here, too. Just put everything I knew all together, yeah? All right, all right. Thank you. Not help at all. Cool, go fast enough and you can just crush it. Come on, door. Work with me here. What is the oh this is the thing that slams into you, huh? Oh, I'm supposed to be going the other way. And it won't it won't do it. <laughs> Am I doing badly on time? Honestly I cannot tell. There's probably a second door, but I'm not gonna go for it now. That time is getting real jittery. Alrighty, let me out, thank you. There's not another boss in here, is there? Oh! Already? That's not Ridley, that's like Meta Ridley, isn't it? Also in subspace, I think. Causing so much destruction that it keeps causing the game to break down. All of reality is breaking. Use L, and when the C open appears, and you just randomly... Okay. Now we know the, the grab. What's going on right now? Metaridney. Weapon update complete. Stinger Ballistics online. Plasma Fuel Cell online. Well, that's fun. Sure, what is this? Entrance to connection elevator. Wow. I hope those aren't, like, needed for 100%. That does not seem fun. Primitive defense turret disabled. Oh, right, okay. Just, well, I'm not I'm not dealing with it anyway. Get out of here. That's not going to help me, but it probably wasn't going to. No, I can go now. Going now. Access to deck alpha approved. Please step into hologram. That's the end, yes? Hello, bloody mercy. Ripvaria suit? Is that this one? Oh, yeah. That, wow, good job, you. <laughs> Missile ammunition. Res yes, okay. Morph ball malfunction. Oh, I see. Charge beam malfunction. We're going to lose all our powers. Oh. Man. At least we can look around. At least we can scan. I will scan until I die. I also should add, I might die. There we go. Good job. I looked at the map. Ain't that magical? Bit close. Room is... Depressurizing. Entrance to main docking bay. Airlock successful. Take me out of here, please. Is there seriously more? Come on. I'm at 20 seconds. I didn't actually know I'd be cutting it this close. Thank you.
Gotta go, Debs. Fair enough. We'll see you later. We'll go chase Meta Ridley ourselves, unless it is just Ridley. But I'm pretty sure it's Meta Ridley, right? Yes, it said Meta Ridley in the in the notes. Tracking on enemy target has been lost. Ground-based recon required. Begin landing sequence. Can't you just like go back to base and get a new suit? Oh, hello. Was not expecting that. Bloody mercy! Thank you for the follow. You've reminded me that I'm on the wrong screen. I'm on the editing screen. That might be why I was having some issues out there. But thank you for the follow. I was gonna say, what is it with me and crashing spaceships? But Talon Overworld. Okay. It's a different world, though, right? Or did we land? No, it wasn't landed on that planet. That makes sense. You didn't get very far and were damaged, I guess? Yes, please. Okay, I guess, I, oh, yes, because I unclicked the game. Excuse me. That was me getting all concerned that the game was broken. I know so little about this that I actually didn't know, like, would be outside or, like, in the rain. That's really cool and atmospheric as much as it almost broke the game just then. I'm liking this. I am excited for this, you know, done on the fourth game or what, or just all the stuff they've got they could expand in the... In the in, the next two and three one. Like... I would definitely want to explore here. And I get... I'm getting the chance. What's going on? Talon Fern. Non-toxic variety of Coelotalonensis. Commonly found near water sources. This is... This is my jam. Too much information about boring things. I love it. <laughs> like, if I could have something like this in real life, I would probably be a botanist, you know? I mean, I guess I could, you know, bring a book, but I don't want to read the book. I like it be more animated. Or like, if they, if, like there's, there's like Google Translate these days where you can like physically look at some foreign language and it will translate it. If I could get that, but like I just took a camera put of like a flower and then it's like, here you go. But not a Wikipedia page. I want it to be basic, nice, easy sentences. I guess. Uh, tangleweed. Plant life with basic sentience. Retracts into ground if threatened. Tangleweeds are only dangerous to small organisms. They are covered in tiny barbs designed to trap potential meals. Tangleweeds lack the strength to do anything more than hinder large life forms. But we can't go there anyway because we're too big and we don't have the morph ball. Unless I can, like... No, no, I don't have a charge ability. Excuse me. It's weird as well. I've not actually seen the ship properly. I've seen it in Super Metroid, and I've seen it in small animations in Brawl, or like Smash. It's weird that it's just around. Like, this feels Halo-y. Obviously, because it's the same kind of gimmicky space, but on land game. But, you know... It does actually feel like I'm playing like an old Halo. I'll try and get that thought out of my head. <laughs> can I analyse my own ship? Yes, I can, but not anymore. Well, give me a sec then. I have to analyse and break the game because these at <laughs> the game doesn't like rendering these all at once. A new, uh, yep. Hunter class gunship registered to Samus Aran. Can return to your ship. Recharge energy. Reload weapons and save the progress. Of course. This is... Uh, actually, no. I think I have got the Metro Prime soundtrack because I recognise all these, but I don't recognise it in Smash. 
the lichen seems to be giving off low levels of radiation. No matches found in flora and fauna data, data, data bank. So it's not actually a new planet, is it? Just one that we happen to be on. Why didn't I go there for... Oh, I guess it was also up a bit. There you go. That was not worth it. This feels a bit... The music sounds Final Fantasy-esque, the instrument in it. Hello. You bad? You are bad. Alright. What, you three shots? Okay. Huh. These are the ones that are faintly sentient, huh? So then, can I, like... Yes, I can. Okay. Impact Crater. What well, impacted? It's not a crater. It's specifically... Oh, I guess the round is the crater. Incredibles. That's the sound effect I'm getting from that. New pirate data entry. Space pirates encrypted data decoded. Log 10.0. 308.0. Field team reports are in on an aged structure of alien design built on the surface of Talon. IV studies show this structure projects a contaminate con containment field. This field bars access to prime source of energy within a deep crater. Science team believes the field is powered by a number of strange Chozo artifacts. We have found some of these relics and studies on them have begun. As this field could hinder future energy production, operations on Talon 4, we must dismantle it as soon as possible. If this means the destruction of the Chozo artifacts, it will be done. Oh. That is not good. We like the Chozo. Now the guys that hold random doors cannot be opened with that weapon. A new... yeah. There is a blast shield on the door blocking access. Analysis indicates that Blast Shield is invulnerable to beam weapons. Explosive weapons may damage it. But we don't have... We... we okay. Is that what the... That will probably be what the... C-Stick is for. That thing on the side. Then we'll go to the other door. Noted. I get it. Game design. I'm following you. Unless it's the way down there. Which also makes sense, because it looks like it could have been an explosive build-up. Hey, you're more than three. You're the harder path, technically. What's going on here? Saturnine! Small iridescent mushroom. Typically grows in dank, dark regions. I mean, I'm enjoying the exploration on this. I, I don't know. The attention to details. Well, I feel like I should have played. I would have loved this as, as a kid, probably. I think I always knew I would, but I just never believed it. I guess I never went with it enough to do anything with it. Always prioritize some other game first. Typical. Oh well. Should have gotten this game rather than Ellie bits when well, I wanted more Pikmin. It's not how that works. Huh. Thank you. Music is very dramatic. Oh. You just in. Okay. Explosive. I get it. Theming. I oh, don't need to look at those flowers anymore. They create radiation. Now we know. Oh, they are destructible. But that was not the same enemy. Oh. What? I don't even know what happened there. Did you destroy yourself again? Incoming scan data. Foreign technology present. Ac active transport located. Transport to Chozo Ruins West. As it go there? Or grab this and take it there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I 
Whoa. Okay, we have to go up and around. I thought there was more to see, there was not. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Okay. So wait, is it here? Yes, there's that. New creature, sap sack. Chemical reaction within sack produces violent explosion when agitated. There you go, so they're bombs. But because of its irresistible odor and sweet nectar, the sap sack was nearly eaten out of existence. The evolution of an explosive chemical sack saved it. Now only brave or indigenous creatures dare to devour it. There was another one up there, wasn't there? No, it's all the same. So then what? Do I want to shoot it to, like, release? Does that open the doors? Because they're, like, lined up? If I could aim? No, it's not lined up to this thing. So what it just it's just telling me that it found another another place, which is likely that way. There we are. I think I might have hurt myself, but that's cool. Thank you, thank you. So what don't hit the sacks. Noted. My auto aim, that's not a not an issue. Hello. Access to Chozo Ruins West granted. Cool. What defines if we're granted that or not? You gotta leave for now, Fang. That's alright. If Daz dies at any point late, you know. Okie dokie. Chozo Ruins, which I assume has also been destroyed because of the local experiments, yes? I don't know this song. Hello. When did it stop raining? It suddenly become a desert. Seismic disturbance. Way over that way. And the hive totem. Okay. So why don't they try? Hey. These pillars have collapsed from erosion. Carbon dating cannot determine the age of the structures. No, I'm trying to look at this thing. No, this thing. This literally... Uh, good job, game. There you are. There you go, I learned the controls. Uh, beetle. Bur beetle burrowing insect with a resilient carapace. Extremely aggressive. Intact's massive mouth enables it to tunnel through solid rock at high speeds. Above ground, beetles can cover short distances rapidly. They attack anything that moves near their lair. Noted. Five. How cold of me just to, how many shots it takes to kill them. Seems like something, some seems like something Samus would do. It's always the Chozo when it comes to Samus, isn't it? Oh gosh, so many. Whatever will I do with all my five hit kills? Passageway to Shrine. It's blast proof. This feels a bit like Portal as well. Mostly just the effect on the beams. Alright. Well, give me more beetles in a second. The ledge of this object rests on... Cannot be reached from this room. Okay. Oh. Not more beetles. I am surprised. Scarabs! I think I've heard of those, or is that a Halo thing? Exploding parasite that can be embedded 
that can embed their bodies in solid rock. Scarabs think nothing of sacrificing themselves for the safety of their swarm. When a hostile life form is sighted, they block its path by embedding themselves in the floor and walls. Embedded scarabs violently self-destruct when threatened. Well, that's fun. Oh. Well, that deals with them quite nicely. Those seemed a bit stunned there or something at the end. See, I'm not even doing this for 100%, I'm just doing it for curiosity. An ion! Immobile organisms entirely composed of ocular tissue. Capable of launching sustained energy beams when active, the ion is sensitive to light and will close if a bright flash ignites it. Ignites nearby. Do I have to shoot on it? Of course I do. I know I've just dodged one, but we're going with it anyway. It's too slow. I haven't perfected these controls. They're a bit weird. Okay, so it just shows me where nearby doors are. Great. Or oh, nearby rooms. Through this? Or was it upstairs? It was probably upstairs. A new Chozo lore entry. Chozo script translated. Ah, oh, okay. We Chozo are departing now. After so many years in peaceful seclusion here on Talon 4, when we came, this place was a refuge for our spirits, a civilization built from native materials, bereft of the trappings of our technology. We were li linked to the land here, kindred to the plants and animals, far away from the machines we had become so dependent on. And so we leave it now, pristine, a testament to the mortal forms we no longer need. We have drawn the veils of time and space aside, and are withdrawing beyond the illusion. But we will never forget this, the most sacred of our homes, and we will remain ever watchful. Okay. Creature log reminds you of the Piclopedia? I agree. It's very nice. Okay, so what ball physics they want of me here, or just normal physics? That seems pretty ball physics-y to me. Maybe they want me to come back then. Yes, of course, because there's the ball thing to get the rockets, or whatever it was under this. Step at a bit of a place. Hello! War Wasp, of course. Airborne insect equipped with a venomous stinger capable of shearing metal. The War Wasp rarely strays far from its hive unless it's pursuing an immediate threat. It attacks with no regard for its own survival, dive bombing its enemies with a stinger extended. Fast working toxins from the stinger can inca incapacitate most small organisms. Not a lovely sound. Oh, actually, yeah, sure, we'll have a look at that. It's a box. It's a sandstone block. Oh, wow, there's a lot to see. War wasp hive. Primary war wasp dwelling, only vulnerable to heavy weaponry. War wasps build their homes over existing crevices using whatever materials are close at hand. They carry building fragments back to the construction site with their forelegs and give them into, glue them into place with adhesives secreted from their abdomens. A lot of detail went into this. This object resides at the end of the high channel set in the wall. Oh yes, we can see that. Structural integrity of metal is stable, no flaws detected. Elevated toxicity levels found in tree bark. Scans indicate a poisoned water source within 4 meters of tree base. Okay. Can I like lock onto these and shoot? Does it just cause more war wasps? Is that all? Was that hive only had only like 2 or 3 wasps in it? Okay. Save station, please. Not that I really need it, but I'll take it. Really much of a threat. I guess that's kind of the point because they're so small. The bees are a bit 
off-putting though. This petrified organi organic matter looks like a rock carved into the shape of an eye. Okay. The only translatable symbol detected on this sculpture is the word Chozo. I'm not a fan of this buzzing. Chozo sculpture crafted in crafted in honor of Stalin's star. Okay, cool. They do do a bit of damage. Noted. Oh, whoever you are, you're not you're not making the game very happy. Another one? There you are. Yowch. Not a fan. Oh, but easy heals. Hello, hello. Stress points present in the brine stone wall. A concuss concussive blast may shatter it. It's a blast cap. Volatile chemicals within this weed's toxic, toxic fungal cap may explode if agitated. Poisonous flesh on the blast cap helps keep it from being eaten alive. This also designates its fungal cap when it senses even slight contact. Oh, lovely. Toxicity levels of this water are very high. Contact with contaminated liquid extremely hazardous. Fun. Don't touch. Noted. What are these sound effects I'm hearing? Is that like it recharging up again? Like, is that the sound of the, her gun? What am I listening to? That was a new sound effect and everything. Uh, there was a coiling thing in here. That. But I guess it's like a pipeline, I guess. It doesn't want to tell me about. There's also a door down there. How do you get back up again? You don't. It goes back over and around, probably. Okay. Just me learning about the, the, the map. Did I just stun it? I am not a fan of these bees. Especially if they're metal shearing bees, you know? Like, if I was in a suit, I'd feel quite fine, but not these bees. I'm in, I'm in warning zone, am I? Okay, I think it is the sound of like the danger going down again, isn't it? No. No, I haven't got a clue then. I have not a clue. Is that the music? I guess that's the music. It's not really got much of a rhythm to it, but okay. Drainage possesses traces of high level toxins. This elevated bridge looks worn, but functional. Okay, this isn't water. Then we're cool for the most part. Boss area? Bit of a small circular one, but it's something. Mechanical device appears to be inactive. Life forms detected within hollow machine. Hollows of machine. And that's our explosive missile, which I didn't get to scan. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, well, can I can I scan you, please? I don't need to know about the the, the drainage right now. There we go. Ram wasp, wasp, airborne predator, circles its prey and then strikes. Walwasps are the only species on Talon 4 to evolve a true hive mind. Nesting in damp, dark places, ram wasps emerge in small groups when threatened and circle their enemies at high speeds, disorienting them, striking from all sides as a single intelligence. They can fell huge organisms until the game until the game completely crashes it. Oh, there's only three of them. 
Yeah, see, I can. I'm just judging by my little mini map. This is some intelligent bees if they work in these mechanics. Okay, there's a few more now, which is nice. I felt that, and then we all died, including the game. Oh yes, I don't have a charge shot, forgot about that. Why don't you get them all out at once? <laughs> I guess that's not how game design works. I'm hurting myself more than the bees are. The wasps, sorry. Why did I do that? Like, come on. What am I stuck on? Come on, game. Oh, this game is dying. As much as Samus is as well. Like, you're not jumping, Samus. Samus, you're not jumping. Samus is a... Uh, she lost her legs, I guess, somewhere along the line. I mean, I guess she did stand in acid, so what do I know? I have to go through it again, though? Like, is this a lot of walking? I hope not. I just stood on the guy. Do I have to rescan everything? Probably. Well then, 100% is no longer happening. No. Wait, are they all done? Looks like they might be actually, yeah. Hello? I see it. Shnemo, thank you for the follow. Damn glitched areas, right? To be fair, I did also try and jump while locking on, so I dashed off the damn thing, but still. Now I know how to speedrun a bit, though, or I could see how fast it feels. Alright, go on, do your thing. Crash the game with your little streak. I'm able to just like hurt what looks like stone, but there it is. That was a weird lock on there. Again, the game just doesn't like handling this. Maybe I won't be able to play this too much on the emulator. I mean, I've only got a week slot to do it, so I'll be playing plenty of Smash when that comes out. Even still, it's getting a bit chunky in places, but it's only the bosses, I think. Although it's getting worse and worse. We need to stay away from the big areas, is what we need to do. I didn't even move that time, and it's chugging, you know? This is a nice dance everyone's got going on. I walked right into them. They're actually doing some damage without the acid. Look at them. And you? Where are you going? I see you on my minimap. Thank you. Shooting it solves all your problems. Makes the acid go away. Easy. Ba -ba -da -ba. Cool. 
Cool. Press Y to fire. Press A to switch back to beams. Missiles can destroy some blast shields on doors. Do they always have an accessory screen? Inventory screen even? I guess I can switch it out like Mega Man. Or not. I like that it assumes I'm on GameCube. I mean, it makes sense. This is a GameCube emulator. Bing, 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 bing. Never heard that before, I don't think. Right, let's go back to scanning a little bit, shall we? This small tunnel leads back behind the wall. Width of the opening is approximately one meter in diameter. That's not the thing in the center of the room, no. Energy tank. This item permanently increases your maximum energy capacity by 100 units. Ah, speedrunner's nightmare. Sweet. I guess I should have worked that out, but I kind of forgot that was a thing. Um, how do tunnel? You can't crouch. There's no clicking things. Unless you're saying just shoot it, like use the thing I just got. Because that's bull form, is it not? Am I an idiot? I might be in like... I, I can acknowledge that I'm an idiot sometimes. But like, this needs bull form. Which we do not have. Do I have to go the long way out? That doesn't feel... That doesn't seem right. Hold on. Behind the wall. Yeah, okay, so it's a speedrun if you've got the thing. Like, where, map-wise, does that take us? Just there. The doors that are red are the ones that need rockets. Well, I figured that. It was more a matter of, like, it's telling me I can go through a tunnel when I can't. Maybe it wants me to come back and go through the red ones as I go. Uh, by the way, where is... A red door. Oh, there's one. Cool. Downstairs. Saw it then. We'll go to that one first. Oh, that's still acid. That's still a little bit of acid. down here is our special door. If I don't do that. Oh, this is acid. Great. Really? You even designed there to be so many of you. Oh, this is the map. Oh, I guess yeah, there is more to see. Why would they give us this after the boss? But I guess it kind of makes sense. Kind of. Oh wait, no, that's Super Metroid, are you sure? Because that seems to be the case anyway. <laughs> like, there are some red doors here. So like, yeah, I can't go that way. Or it doesn't... Yeah, no, it just links back another way. So I guess I can go through that... No, nope, that's still just a little air duct. Well then, okay. Let's just keep exploring as we do. Thank you for the, the download. Yes, yes, B, we know. Love respawning enemies. Okay, so we're here now. We can go through there. Sorted. I guess Metroid, uh, yeah, Metroid is a bit of a, a backtracky game. 
seems to be the case because it's all about exploring these underground worlds or maybe it's just because yeah yeah because they don't want it to be too linear I guess it's the logic and right now obviously it has to be kind of linear so us to like get all our weapons back but like in the future levels assuming there's more when we get them back all our stuff like we could just go everywhere how does that work out you know okay like I, I just went for the healing items but apparently it was outweighed there we go. we're depleted I didn't know there was that little of them where's my where's my ammunition when I need it only health, huh? Wow, cool. More ball. Oh, I found it. Looks like Dark Samus's ball, but you know that's cool. Uh, these blue orbs seem to be simple light sources. Assuming Dark Samus even becomes a ball, I haven't seen it. Morph ball. <laughs> that's all we need to know. And it's gone. Oh, dude! I was just. I put my hand away from the controller for one moment. Oh, there's just too many. <laughs> Don't mind me. It'd be nice if that was an easy way to turn around against these guys, but you know, I'll take it. In fact, it seems like they keep respawning, but I think that's them going away again. Like hiding and then coming back. Right? Or are they infinitely respawning and I'm supposed to just leave? Oh no, they, they are depleting. And the big one. The queen of the damn thing. Can't even tell which part's its face. Does it even have one? No one knows. A plated beetle, well-armored, burrowing insect, vulnerable only in the rear abdomen. Creature's thick cranial plating can repel frontal attacks. This gives it an advantage in combat, allowing it to make ramming attacks, only surfacing when it detects vibrations above, and then maneuvers itself so as to always face its rival, keeping its exposed abdomen protected. Always face... Uh, oh, no, I just accidentally read it twice. Yeah, I say no the controls tutorial. Such basic attacks. It's quite it's quite fun how basic it all is, you know? Like everything's quite easy and formulaic and like predictable. But I can get behind it still. Missile ammunition. Needed that. Thank you. Uh where is Ball? Ball is there. Any more to say about it, scan visor? More ball. Lovely. Let's get... Alright, that's a blocked up one. Lovely fun. Um, what is there to see then? Like, there was the pathway right there in the next room, which is obviously where they want us to go next. There's that thing all the way back that way, which goes all the way into that, which goes way the way over there. Good lord, okay. Oh, you do not like moving much. Okay, so there's two ways, but you're going to end up at that route. So we might as well go from here. Okay, the map is making the music slow down. I wonder if it was like some style, but I, I think it's just broken emulator stuff. Where I jumped in my oh no I left a bomb last time that's what I did. Is it 
here. No, it's up higher. It's up. Oh no, no, it is that way. Right, there it is a thing there, but it's probably not the thing we're after. Oh, okay, there's a doorway, and that. Okay. Up top there, or lower? I think lower? It's hard to read. It's up top there, which I can't get to. Typical. Okay. Then we'll go up that way, which is inaccessible from this room. Good stuff. Am I missing something? Maybe it's just an observation error. Usually is the case with me and like, Zelda, so why not here? Yes, there you go. Uh, I fixed, I, I sort, I puzzled it. Gotta go up and around. I probably wouldn't, have, I probably would have got stuck here as a kid. That would have been as far as I'd get. Don't mind me, hope the door shuts behind me. Okay, Samus, can you look down a little bit? That would be nice, thank you. Oh. Plasmite. Small insect capable of storing and releasing thermal energy. Plasmites are attracted to sources of heat, thriving on the energies present there. They emit light when hunted, hunting, and will expel small bursts of thermal heat when threatened. So they're hot. Oh, it's them. I see. Saw them already. Noted. This is some serious aimbot Samus has got. Oh, I just made it dark. Excuse me. It's not entirely my intention, but that's how it's ended up. Can I not do anything then? Do I have to drain and go the other way? Oops. Nothing. Fountain choked by overgrowth, toxin levels are high. Show description is related. As we struggle with the great poison, something stirs at the edges of our vision. It is the hatchling Samus. We feel her. Cross the void as she hunts the corrupted. Will our fates again be won as our pride shatters? Will prophecy become real? When all strength wanes from the Chozo, will it be the hatchling who fulfills our legacy? True sight eludes us, for the poison gnaws at all at all vision, leaving seers blind and filled with despair. Truth blessing may come too late. Okay. So I guess I can't do anything here? I haven't actually looked around too much. No, okay, there is an option. It's just a bit dangerous. Oh, thank you, dude. And you are not friendly. Toxicity levels critical. Contact with condom. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, just for a moment. That was just a simple path to the doorway. How convenient! Until it won't let me through the door for some reason. You're new, aren't you? Maybe you weren't. 
You seemed new. It's gonna do that with every blast door, isn't it? Uh, okay, hello vines. Well, I, I get what they do, so. I'll just go with it then. Oh! Is that supposed to be Samus's heartbeat? I'm not sure about that, but is that just a? Oh, it is. I thought I thought it was like a bad thing. Yes. Great. Good to know, game. Do I have to open these? Maybe I don't have to because it's really crashing the game. What's this way? Nothing. Of course not. Oh, what? So you can break them? You know what? I guess that makes sense. Uh. Alright, never mind. I tried. Clearly cor incorrect. The Reaper Vine, powerful rock dwelling tentacle. Single eye upon the Reaper Vine keeps a cons constant vigil, but its vision is limited to 10 meters. A scythe like appendage on its tip is honed to lethal sharpness. The Reaper Vine will swing this blade wildly at anything that enters its zone of perception. Alright, goodbye. Oh, there's another one. Goodbye. This ring a dingy sound. Ring a ding ding. Oh, was that actually the correct move? Like, was that gonna hurt me? I just did it for fun. It was a thin, narrow pathway. Seems like a bull form thing. Oh. Oh no, these are new? No, it's the blast claps again. Caps again. Is it gonna make me re. like, visit them all? Okay, let's go to the safe spot, because I feel like I'll probably die at some point that way, if I don't just completely spin around in a circle. Thank you. So is it because of the Chozo that everything just lines up perfectly for Samus here? It makes sense to a degree. Out what they are, am I? The great poison comes from the talent's core. What is, this? What, what is this? That which fouls the water seeks the sun. Okay. I again, I pressed the B button, just did not do it. Again, can't scan you in time. Womp. Simple platforming. This very much does feel like the first game in the series. Not just because it is the first game in the series, but like, it feels like it was them testing what they could do on a basic level, so it's like these platforms, you know, they're not too ambitious or anything. Not that that's a bad thing, you've got to start from somewhere. Okay, this large metal gate blocks entrance to the area beyond. Four runic symbols adorn its surface. Matching symbols with this room must be scanned to gain access here. This runic symbol has been activated. Oh, so just gotta look at them. 
see. Okay. You're not you're just like like you're like a toy having fun over there, aren't you, Mr. Slashy Slashy? Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Find the secret symbols. Oh, there we go. Root originate over walls. No decompose decomposition detected. The host plant appears to thrive on toxic water. Oh, not a fan of the sun then. Trace sediments indicate water once flowed here. Well, I really like these little these little attention to details. Hello. All right. Well, you're basically not in my way anyway. Uh, he says. Okay. Oh, that's why you're here. Because you're in the way of the symbol, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And that's the fourth one. Simple room. Simple mechanics. Can get behind. Level design. I can see this getting really dramatic later. At the moment, we'll just go through the calm stuff. Alright, yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm not having the best time. <laughs> well, Samus isn't having the best time. But she's fine, she's got a suit. Even if Smash says she's stronger without it. Dude, thank you. Oh, that's just not fair. I know you're gonna do it. Thank you. has been unlocked. What is it that Samus is actually doing with her visor when that happens? Oh, it's a... It doesn't translate well these days, does it? A spinning thing with three circles? Oh, hello Mario Mario! Metroid Prime was probably your first game. You remember being stuck at the Parasite Queen, the first boss of the game. Never going further. Probably because you were four at the time, wow. Not exactly sure how you convinced your parents to get the, this game of all things, yeah. <laughs> Guess it doesn't look that threatening on the box. Hello guys, with your awfully thin charge beams. See to me this is the perfect time to like, slow down time or something, but you know that works too. I can't actually aim on them. Like, this seems like the scenario where they'd want me to use a charge beam, but I don't see how. Oh, that lines up anyway. And I've messed it up anyway. Anyway, anyway. Oh, it's good fun trying to platform without seeing where you're going. That's not even where I needed to go, was it? There was a door right there. But I was distracted by the eyeballs? What, what was that level design? I'm a bit, wait, hold on. Uh, what was that trying to tell me? Because all it seemed to say was get through this. Or uh, maybe you can't get through this? You know, you kind of can. Hold on. <laughs> For once, I'm actually confused by the level design. After calling it basic and, you know, simple at this point. Again, not a bad thing. It's just the first in the game, you can tell. Ugh. First in the franchise, series, whatever you want to call it. Why are you just waiting back there? Okay. So like, yeah, that was just a door there I was supposed to go through. I thought it was a, this, this felt like a challenge to me. I'm not gonna survive that, hold on. Of course you're gonna survive. Get out of here. Thank you, 
And I still get hit. Typical. Oh. And it's, it's, it's clogged. And I'm out of... I'm out of... Is this seriously where... Like... I guess it was a bonus thing. No waste of my time twice. Well, while I'm here, I guess I'll read this. We have returned to Talon 4. Born here against our will by a great cataclysm from the reaches of space, Media came, casting a dark shadow of debris over the land with the violence of its impact. Though we perceived this from beyond space and time, it was but a curiosity, a brief flare in the infinite march of the universe. But the media brought with it corruption. A great poison burst forth into the land, clawing at life with such violence that we were ripped from our peaceful state and find ourselves wandering as shadows of the mortal form we left behind, searching for why we are here. Ooh. Go on, tell me I can explode it. An identical obstruction approximately one meter wide blocks the hole. Okay. See, that wasn't too hard. This bit's the hard part, because I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> can I do this in the air? Oh, I can. Does it control me? Like, can I aim with that? Probably not. No. I'm still stuck in it, so I still would land it in the acid. I guess I can look before I jump, but I felt like I already did and didn't do anything, but hey. Or I felt like I knew where it was. I wasn't supposed to use the bomb on that hole, was I? The the charging, even. That would make more sense from a level design perspective. You know what? Where is that I'm supposed to be going? <laughs> Plasma beam, ice beam, wave beam? Good lord. Spoilers. Probably wasn't going to take me too far. I'll go up that way. But I can't because it's up high. What's through that door again? This is the wrong door. Am I going in the right direction now? I'm going the other way. No, I'm going the right way. I just have to go through this first. Okay. So, super top way this way. That was a bit too close to them, but okay. Even more so there. There's a way up there. What's... Oh, I guess I can do some platforming. I sound like Cataquacks. A one note Cataquack. Of course there was more. You know what, fine, I'm going back to my safe state. Thank you very much. I'm bad at this game. I guess that's to be expected, but still. Can't imagine how bad I'd be as a kid. Got a GameCube when I was six. So, imagine six year old me running around with all this. I got it, I think, in, yeah, got it in 2002. So I was quite late, so it might have come out by this point. Because, like, I'm realizing now, although I guess it's kind of obvious that, like, all these games, like, all these original GameCube games came out in 2001. And people were like, oh, I got it, f you know, first day. And I'm like, oh, yeah, me too. I probably played it the moment it came out. No, I didn't. I got it almost like a full year after the GameCube had been out. Hence why there were so many games to play, I guess. So like, Luigi's Mansion and Pikmin 1, I didn't, didn't play them until they'd been around for a year. For me, it was day one, but everything is when you're a kid. Nothing else matters in the world except you. I guess it's still kind of the case if you some some type of people in the adult world, but you know what I mean. Hello. Well, I can, I can respect their loyalty to their species by just completely sacrificing themselves. Wouldn't do it myself, but, you know. Maybe we've got more brains for it. <laughs> Dudes. Are you going to constantly spawn four? No. Okay, good. Can I make this jump? Apparently, just about. Oh, 
motion controls, or not motion controls, the motion's a bit lucky to me, but it's fine. What a wonderful sky. What beautiful weather we've got. So what? Charging? Ah, yes it does. Can I undo this? I can. Lovely. You know what? I can already see like the speed running motions with this. Like where it doesn't even look like they've aimed. They just shoot at the right time or something and it's just like done. You know? Feels like a Doom speed run. I guess it's kind of the same style. Not Doom. Duke Nukem. Or Doom 2 I guess. Oh yeah, both. They're the same style, right? Ah, whatever. Don't mind me, just mumbling to myself. I don't know where I am. I've just I've just gone on a right tangent. I went the right way. More bees. The divey spinning ones. Why can all these insects use these devices? Probably shouldn't be using um, the missiles on it. Well, maybe I should. Not, not ball form. I can tell you that. I can tell you with good certainty. I probably should aim on that. It's because that's what it's put me on now. Yeah, look at that magic. This is the Sonic Adventure 2. Oops, ending battlegrounds with the acid in the middle. That's not actually acid. Acid in the game. Me. Ooh, hello. What is this? Right. Ah, controls. Please format a bit better with us. Thank you. Very nice and dramatic. Kind of reminds me of Twilight Princess a little bit. Even though Twilight Princess probably did it better with their upgrades, but you know, whatever. Wow, I am doing flawlessly. I get that health. Thank you. I feel much better now. So much better. Like, how are you supposed to? How are you supposed to aim on these correctly? Maybe there is a way. Oh, I guess you've got to stay under that one and jump over this one. You know what? That makes sense. Shall I do that? Yeah. Somehow it doesn't hurt them. Why would it? I'm bad. And that's bad design on that hive's part. So what's that one? I don't remember it. Morph Ball Bomb. I don't know. Of course they'd be separate. Right? That's the sound effect for it. There is nothing in that ball. That's just empty space. Press A. There we go. And is that where I use it on the little hole? Like this? Okay, cool. Then I, I wasn't entirely in the wrong before. So many places to explore. Good design. And look, you can use it to jump. Magic. But you've oh they regenerate. Oh that's cool. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Because I, you know, don't want to deal with ammunition. Hello. That was a cool way to show off that. Good level design. Guys. And yeah, that, that's... I, I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. This is very clearly all underwater. Do I have to fight the boss again? Tell me it's saved somewhere. Oh, it's found an energy spike. Where's that? Well, that's good to know. Thank you for telling me that, map game. This is, this is not going in my favour. Hmm. 
Yes, we're in the Chozo ruins. Not that far behind, right? That's quite far behind. It feels like it. Like, what was the direction I went? I guess this way, yes, I, I platformed, went through there, came back and died. Okay. I might get back to that point again, honest. <laughs> it's interesting, because like, I'm, I'm looking at this more like a like a game developer, not that I am one. But like I'm looking more like it's like a child's toy being like, oh that's how they did this. I'm thinking too much like a level designer and how like it's construed. I guess it is because it, it's it's simple. It's like a, it's following all the basic formula, doing all the basic things, and I guess it is also kind of a I've done this, haven't I? Yes. I went the wrong way. Thank goodness. Whew. Um like it's doing all the classic things that you would expect. Like it's not it's not breaking many boundaries yet. Obviously, it's early game. Uh, I, I would definitely be excited to see what more there is in the franchise. Obviously, people like it enough. It's doing good, and I, I'm I am really enjoying the explorative nature of the gameplay. That's really fun. That's right up my alleyway. Um, the emulation's glagginess. It's a Bit off putting, yes, I know you're there. How does that take three hits on you? Come on, get out of here, thank you. Um But no. I could see myself getting invested in this, but I'd need more time to it. But as of right now I'm a bit like slowed by it for some reason? I don't know why. Like I'm not Maybe it's all these dumb mistakes I'm making. Like it's not Investing to play as yet? I don't, okay, I can go still into Morphle. Cool, I've got that going for me. Um, oh, I am just supposed to go there. Of course, I already did this bit. I should know. I completely forgot. Assuming they were like a thing on the side. I don't have the charge shot. I do have the charge shot. Lovely. But you can't not shoot when you do it, from what I can tell. But like, I don't think I'm gonna play much further. I'll get back to the point where I was, and then I'll probably end the stream. If that's okay with people. Just because, like, the thing I'm mostly excited for right now is Smash Ultimate. Like, I plan to be playing that for a good couple of weeks at least when the game comes out. I might, like, actually try and get in, not into the competitive field, but, like, just try it a bit more seriously. Because, um, like, we've been, we've been in a bit of a drought for video games lately. Or it feels like it. Nothing long lasting. Smash Ultimate will hopefully be, like, my little bridge for that. Oh, game. Game. I don't care. Are they going to force this logo bot onto me now? I imagine the future games are improved on many mechanics. Maybe even the controls. I don't know. It's, it's like I'm enjoying this game. And I'm also kind of like fighting it. And like getting disgruntled at all the small little things. Like, does this menu go away in another room? I will test it. I will be my own game tester. But like, I don't think I will play much further. Ah! I imagine as we find out more Metro Prime news, where I will. Everyone's gonna be hyped. I'll see like the new trailer, and I'll be like, I gotta play it. I gotta find out what's going on. But like, I imagine this game, actually, the whole thing will probably be quite, sim like, standard. Like, we'll see Meta Ridley later, he's the final boss. Something like that, you know? We'll, we'll fix the Chozo's problems. Or not, because they're like an ancient civilization. What do I know? I am going the right way. Yes, yes, these are blue lights. So what, this is where I drowned last time. Cool. Don't keep going that way. So I was forced to go this way. When I thought I was being so smart, I wasn't. In fact, this is the embodiment of not that smart. Now I know. 
Right, let's fight this boss and get out of here. And also, no, I have to I have to look at this laggy map. Oh, it's in here. I would have never found that out. It's in the Burn Dome. Oh, what a lovely name. That's quite Luigi's Mansion-esque, actually, finding out everyone's names. All right, let's go. What controls when it's got the big red button at the top? Also, it's nice because I don't have to jump off the on the acid like I thought I had to worry about before. Ah, that's I, it. Just does it. Okay. Should hurt the. You think that would hurt the the hive straight away? Oh, I guess it does. It activates them. Okay. I'm not technically not really your threat. You, it's your own weapon that's your threat. I'd probably get by this quite peacefully. Not really one for destroying... Well, I guess it's not nature, so that's why Samus isn't quite a not a threat to them. And I don't know the exact lore of everything. Thank you. Where's the bees? There you are. So you're the same guys as before. We already fought a bee boss today. Why can't I have the spinny doodly sacrificing ones? Because like they all didn't make it. Oh. Samus did not jump. Oh, she jumped now. Because I tried the second time. And why was it the bomb, the ball bomb, was what was in the center of that? Who put it in the? Why would they put a thing in their weapon? Ta -ta 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 -ta. Cool. Um, how about I don't go that way? I'll just leave the normal way and save. But, oh, I was gonna have to do that. Oh, well then, the other way is mi mi uh, missile expansion. I would like, please. But no, I would have loved this as a kid because I've got I would have had the time and like the investment to go and find everything and open every part of the map. Like a proper Zelda level, which I also never played as a kid until Twilight Princess. So what, 13, which I don't count as my childhood. If that makes sense. My childhood is 6 to 12. And then 13 to 18 was something else. Not really. Oh, I don't know how I 13 to 15 was something else. And then 15 to now is a bit more modern. That's probably how I'd put it. 15 to 19. 19 to now. That sounds something more accurate. Right. Careful. Save spot. Not in there. How do we get out of here? Just go back the other way, I guess. Can I go through this? I don't think so. I'll deal with all this later, yeah? Um, where is the nearest safe spot? Is the one we just left? Probably. Ooh. Oh, I thought the game was actually frozen for a minute there. Nope, it was just the guy, Samus, being stuck on the damn door. Again. Not good at this, are you, Samus? Thank you. Hey, it's me! I went the right way. Look at me. Until I turned the wrong way, but you know. Alrighty. My apologies for the short stream. 
I wanted to get a taste of Metroid Prime, and I did. I would like to play more. I'm sure this goes into all sorts of directions later. Um, but right now, I think I've had my fill. Um, if you haven't already, do be sure to see my actual video that's come out at the same time the stream started. Because I, I do that twice a week now. It is my livelihood. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. You got a little bit of uh, nostalgia for you, Mario Mario. And I got to experience something new. This could have been my childhood, but I just I missed it. Now I need to work on fixing my Agato, which I I might just have to buy another one because it's gonna you know, spontaneously died. And then hopefully we'll do some Smash next week. Yes, it comes out next week. Good stuff. I'm looking forward to that. I'll play as Samus a bit and Dark Samus. Mostly Onima though, because he's apparently really good. And I'd love to be an Onima main. That's my aspirations. Anyway, that is all. Let me click off because I have an official screen that I keep forgetting about. There we are. Also, oh no, it said I skipped frames a few seconds ago. It says there's 39 examples of that? Are you kidding me? I was constantly losing frames. Youch, game. You're crashing my computer as well. Oh well, hopefully that wasn't too bad. I'll find out when I look at it in the vol in the vog. Vog? Vod. That's the word, not vog. Ew. Right. I'll be ending it off here. I hope you enjoyed. My name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>